Hi, welcome to my hamster. Today I'll be viewing this GB Tiger tablet for kids, and I paid about $60 for this off Amazon. In the packaging, it came with an AC adapter. So this AC adapter is universal. Inputs at 100 to 240 volts. Outputs at 5 volt, 1 amp. Prompt for it. Also came with a micro USB cable and this user manual. It's okay written. But the tablet is very easy to use. It's not much different than any other tablets because it's running the Android KitKat operating system, which is 4.4. And here's the tablet. So it came with this green hour case. They do offer in different colors, but I opted for the green. I'm just gonna take it out of this case for a sec here. The one I got is white, it does come in black as well. It's more of like a matte white. It's not glossy, it's not slippery. On the corner, we have the speaker. Then it's like a two megapixel camera. All these labels just refers to what's up here. So this is the microphone, micro USB. This one says DC 5 volt, but I don't really have a cable for that. Here's the power button. Then the headphone port is right over here. These are the volume controls, up, down for the volume. And it's even got a micro SD card slot for me to expand it. There is a front facing, forward facing camera too. Let me place this back in here. Log in here for a second. Now, most of these apps I loaded on here, these came from the Google Play Store. Let me just access, well, a lot of these apps are not pre installed. The ones are pre installed are the ones that's more of like a cartoonish icon. Like even their settings icons, they use customized icons here. Uh, and what I found was the games that came with it. For example, Zudos, something that they're trying to promote for kids games. Those didn't run very well, but things like Sesame Street, for example, from the Google Play Store, those work quite well because there's, they're mostly just streaming here. My daughter, she's three years old and she loves playing with this. Let me just close that there. So besides Sesame Street, there's others, well, Nickelodeon. You can use this to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, watch it, watch YouTube if you wanted. One of the apps I loaded on here, this is a benchmark tool. And I'm just gonna run this or show my previous test results. Just to give you an idea of what you're working with between this compared to others. So the benefit about this um, YouTube tool is that there's a ranking section. So like for example, iPhone 7 Plus, those are of course the, like the top of line tablets or smartphones. Whereas this device, GB, GB Tiger, it's pretty low on the list, but it's also trying to compare with the more expensive items. Now a lot of these other items, they cost well over $300 some of them even $700, but this device costs just roughly $60. My five-year-old may not be, be playing games on this, but my three-year-old loves this. It's just the right size for her. It's easy to hold on to, non-slip. The battery life, on the other hand, is about like two hours or so, so it's a far cry from like the iPads, but the iPads, they're like, what, $300 now? So this is so much cheaper, and yeah, it's, it's thicker, but for a three-year-old, it's easier to hold on to. It's heavier, but not that much heavier. And when we're watching videos, so there's two levels of this kickstand. One is this, another is this. So here's one of the levels. Let me just set to the other level. And now this one's a bit more reclined. And cover it up. Now, the speakers, on the other hand, it's, uh, I won't say it's loud. Uh, if I was listening to music, it's not going to fill the, fill the room. A lot of times what we found, we were doing is when we're holding the device, we're just cupping our hands like this. So it's, it's, it's not a big deal because a lot of times it's more of a personal tablet. Here's the device information. If you want to read any part of this in more detail, just feel free to pause the video. And as you can see from these specs and these benchmarks, it's not going to replace the iPad mini, nor is that the intended purpose for this product. It's got built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and the Wi-Fi is just a 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. 
you know, a number of things not supported, but that's not that's fine. I don't plan to use this to play like any of those more intensive Unreal games. To some of the pros and cons, this is a good tablet for toddlers. It's very inexpensive, durable, came with a nice little rubberized case. For them, it's easy to use. It can run apps like Sesame Street or any of those streaming cartoon apps. The battery life may be two hours, but I don't want my kids spending too much time from my tablet anyway. Charging is very simple, thanks to the micro USB input. Overall, this is a decent product at this price range. Well, thanks for watching this review of the GB Tiger tablet. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Uncle Hamster. Bye.